Hello, fabulous Leo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of March 2020, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. It is a huge, massive astrological month, incredibly important, not only in the context of this month, and not only in the context of this year, certainly, but in the context of the larger decade ahead. Now, a big reason for that, and the big start of that is Saturn. Right around the 22nd of March, Saturn will move into your opposite sign. Now, for now, it's just a quick visit. It is Saturn that will leave here July 1st, but by the end of this month, and at the very end of this month, when Mars meets Saturn in your opposite sign, that is going to be the true moment of insight the moment that's going to help you to understand what your larger lessons may be. Again, not only in the context of this month or this year, but in a larger sense also. Right now it's Mars meeting Saturn. This is going to accelerate an awareness, a truth, if you will, where you are in partnership, where you are in love. And right now it may be a truth that is emotional, that feels very much on the surface. Now at the end of the year, Saturn will meet Jupiter, and that is when you will see this month differently, much more hopefully. And of course, as we navigate further into the decade, right around 2023, 2024, Pluto is gonna move over the same point, this zero degrees of Aquarius point, and that is going to further your understanding and your learning in this particular area of the sky. Now, I will have Saturn special horoscopes up very soon in the first part of March, so be on the lookout for that where I'll dive into all of this much more. But for now, I did wanna give you a little bit of a heads up because if it feels like things are changing or you're realizing things where it comes to the partnerships you hold, if it is that you're getting more honest with yourself as to whom it is that you are truly aligned with, and maybe where it is that you are in certain alliances for the wrong reasons, well, this month will help you to get truly honest. And honesty is empowering. Honesty is an alchemical process that can change everything and ultimately everything for the better. Now elsewhere, it is going to be this month that we've got other things happening as well. We are going to have a full moon right around the ninth of the month and this full moon, is happening in a financial part of your sky having to do with money you earn and money that you spend now there's one part of this energy that i love it is this full moon speaking in supreme harmony with pluto supreme harmony with jupiter this is abundance and has abundance written all over it it looks like you are making some power move at this time to move yourself towards greater prosperity and it also looks as if what is changing now is ultimately setting you up for a larger picture of greater prosperity also. But here's the thing, Neptune is standing across the sky from this full moon. And what that says is be careful where it comes to things like investments. Um, but also with what's changing now, there might also be some mixed feelings for you where it can feel like one source or way of creating money is leaving so that something even better can come in, but you know that you might miss it and what used to be and how things used to be. Now, regardless of what shows up for you, just allow it. That really is key. Allow yourself to feel whatever it is that you do, but don't let it stop you from taking action. Mercury is retrograde or still retrograde at this time. And so again, you do wanna be careful where it comes to things like your relationship with financial institutions, going into debt and things like that. As long as you are striving to be honest with yourself in that regard, this can be a very empowering time. If you're focused on generating and creating more opportunities for yourself, this can be a busy time also, either more hours or better opportunities. And that's where the greatest power is now. 
Now, it is as we navigate late into the month, right around the 24th is when we will have this month's new moon. This new moon will be speaking in harmony with Saturn. And what that tells me is that as things change and develop here, they are informed by the alliances you have with others. So this new moon is happening in a part of the sky that has to do with your place in the world, it has to do with long distance travel, immigration, citizenship, higher learning, legal matters, political matters, philosophical matters. All of that is covered here. And it looks like you're about to get either new opportunities to be out and about or new perspectives. Now, some of the more immediate ways this could play out is that you end up exploring the possibility of being somewhere else in the world as a result of a partnership that you have, but it involves taking certain steps. It can also be that this energy plays out in terms of you listening to other perspectives and in the process coming to a renewed understanding as to what your own political beliefs or philosophical beliefs are. It could also be that someone influential in your life is encouraging you to approach something like higher learning or an advanced degree, or maybe even encouraging you to embrace a new and different opportunity. Now, regardless of how this plays out, know that in some way your world is expanding and you are being not only embraced, but you're stepping out in front of more of the world than you did before. And that will facilitate even more opportunity that benefits you not only now, but certainly in the fullness of time. Now, where it comes to matters of love, it is going to be Venus that right around the fifth of the month will change signs and move into a part of the sky for you that is very big picture. So outside of love, this energy can speak to career, social standing, life purpose, and Venus itself does bring blessings. So that's wonderful. But in the context of love, this encourages you to see love very big picture. The other energy playing out this month has to do with Mars. Mars is gonna move into your opposite sign at the end of the month, immediately connecting with Saturn. Now, as I said, special horoscopes will be coming up, so I'll dive into that a lot more, but I did wanna mention it now because for some of you, it may feel like things start changing very quickly for you in the context of love. So if you're open to meeting someone new, it is possible with a month like this that you may connect with someone who um, either has achieved something that you desire to achieve or is in a position of authority. It looks like at first it may take you by surprise, but there is a certain intensity there. I would even say a certain passion there as well. But it is at the end of the month that you're getting more honest with yourself about what may be playing out here. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, I do like this very big picture energy, figuring out whether or not this person fits into the goals that you have for your life, if their ambition matches yours. And of course that can go in all kinds of directions, right? There's all kinds of ways of understanding ambition, but do you feel aligned with this person in that respect or not? If you don't, then you may not make it to the middle of the month, but if it is that you do feel that alignment, then things can start to feel like they're getting uh, more stable or at least more committed as you navigate further at the end of the month, moment of honesty. Is this person partnership material or not? It's almost as if you have to make a choice or make a decision at this time. And for those of you in an established bond, as much as I love this Venusian energy, I do think that it is by far going to be Mars entering your opposite sign and of course Saturn as well that is going to be the strongest uh, energy, the most notable energy for you this month, in particular with that Mars, because Mars is uh, so immediate. It is an energy of heightened reaction, of adrenaline, and so it may start to feel as if you are uh, wanting to be present, wanting to be connected. Now, what this energy is, meeting Saturn though, is moment of truth, and I do feel like this can be very make or break for couples. If you are in the right relationship for you, this is where things can solidify and be strong very quickly. But if it is that you may not be in the right relationship or if there's work that needs to be done, that will show up for you at a time like this as well. What I love about this month for you, well, there's a lot here, but actually, you know what I'm gonna say? I might surprise you by saying this. I am going to say that full moon. 
I love how prosperous it is. I love how expansive and hopeful and, and you feeling generous and excited about how it is that you're taking steps and making moves and how the universe is responding to what it is that you're giving. Things are changing now for you. And yes, change, it involves an element of uncertainty, but there's also so much strength. There is some financial power move that you are making in the first part of the month, and it truly can solidify you financially and otherwise. It can connect you with a sense of your own self-value, with a renewed sense of self-esteem, the kind of blessings that can be with you long after this month is over. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week, which is probably a good idea. Let me tell you, with a month like this, it is a very active astrological week ahead. Well, I'll be diving into it for your sign each and every week at NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes. I mentioned special horoscopes, right? And so much more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.